Hi, I'm Dr. Altman. This is an awesome project. I'm going to take an iPod and connect it to a laser. Instead of the electricity coming from my iPod and going to a speaker making sound, it's going to go to this laser. And it's going to vary the output brightness of the laser slightly. You really can't tell. If I turn this on, and let's do this. Turn on the iPod. Get me some tunes going. So now I've got uh, the artist David Altman and uh, the sounds coming out. Crank up the volume. I should be able to hear something. I can't. Because instead of going to speakers, it's now going to a laser. So when I turn on my laser, and I don't know if you can see this or not, but the laser is varying its brightness ever so slightly. Nothing you could really detect. So we need something to detect that variation in light. And the ideal device is a solar cell. Simple solar cell, I got a radio shack, I'll put a couple of wires on it and another phono jack and I'm going to plug that into a tiny amplifier. Little amplifier also got a Radio Shack. Radio Shack can get everything. When I plug the solar cell in, now any variations of light will turn into music. Watch this. I can send this beam all the way across the room and it'll still work. Let's give that a try. The wiring is very straightforward. We take the battery pack with the two cells in it. We attach it to the secondary of the transformer. There's a little on off switch in the battery pack itself. And then this is going to go to our laser. And the positive side, which would be uh, in this case the red side, goes to a red alligator clip. And the negative side goes to the black alligator clip. And that attaches to the laser. On the primary side of the transformer, I simply have the 8 ohm plug that would go to the headphones. This is a stereo jack, but I've got it hooked into mono, so I only have it going to one transformer. This is the transformer device. The wire coming out of my little battery box, plugging into the headphone jack of my iPod. The two wires coming out of my battery box, attaching to the laser. I get a battery holder from Radio Shack that holds three batteries. Now my laser only required three volts or two batteries. So in this case I had a little extra room. This is where the third battery would have gone. I rewired the case a little bit. And so from my batteries, from the switch, I go to my positive and negative, which is going to go to my laser and I go through the secondary of my transformer which I've got hot glued in there. From the primary of my transformer I simply go to a headphone, stereo headphone jack and I can plug that into my iPod or any other electronic device. Transformer, this is a simple one-to-one -one transformer, very small device. The solar cell was easy to do. This is the case it came in. I drilled a little hole on the side, wire to wire to the top and to the bottom of it. Mounted it with my Legos. And then a single phono jack. 
So it's the positive and negative side of the solar cell. And it goes into the input. It goes into the input of the little mini amplifier. The black alligator clip attaches to the spring inside, making sure that the edges of the alligator clip don't make electrical contact with the inside of the shell. The other alligator clip is attached to the casing. And then something is used to secure that the on-off switch is pressed down. Uh, I've taped it down, I've uh, held it down with uh, a wire ties, or in the case here, the bulldog clip. Find a way of turning the laser on and aiming it at the same time. And you're all set. Plug the other end into your iPod. And now we've got a modulated signal going to our laser. We've got a device that can detect that modulated signal. We've got a way of detecting that modulated signal. See how far you can get this to go away. <laughs>